Hello YouTube, Adult Fan of LEGO UK here and welcome to my review of the Republic Gunship from the LEGO Star Wars range. This is set number 75021, ages 9 to 14. It comes with a piece count of 1,175 pieces. Hopefully you would have seen my previous unboxing um, with regards to this particular set. If you haven't done, um, go and take a look at that. Um, that's where I give you an overview of the box, the instructions and the bags um, which come as part of the set. Um, so like I said, this is the review of the main set and the minifigures. So, with no further ado, let's get into it. And as you can see there, there she is. There is the Republic gunship and our minifigures. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is review the minifigures. Okay, so we're going to start off with Anakin Skywalker, who we can see here with his green lightsaber. So first of all, I'm going to remove his lightsaber. You can see there with a silver hilt. Okay, so we can see the torso printing and the printing on the front of the legs. A rear torso printing. And the face detail. Obviously the hair piece, so let's just remove that. And he does come with a two-sided face which we can see there okay so that's Anakin Skywalker next we have Padme and we can see here and try and get in you see the front torso Front torso print in there with the torn um, top. As you can see, she comes with a, with a blaster. So just remove that. And rear torso, and again there you can see the the rips to her clothing, um, and obviously where she's been cut on her back. And we can obviously see there. The blood. Um, you can see hairpiece comes with a really cool hairpiece. Just remove that. And she also comes with a dual sided face. Hopefully, you can pick up the colour on this. You can see she's got pink lipstick on, which is some really cool printing. Okay, next up we have Obi Wan. Obi Wan Kenobi. You can see him there with his blue lightsaber. I'll just take that off. Okay, so front torso and front leg printing, rear torso printing. See his hair piece there. Let's take that off. His face printing, and again, dual sided. There we go, that is Obi Wan. Next, we have our clone pilot. He comes with the pistol, last pistol. Just remove that. Okay. See the front torso printing, nothing on the legs. Rear torso printing. His helmet. See the printing on the helmet there. Remove his helmet. 
Okay, so you can see the clone pilot's face print, and this one is single sided. So that is our clone pilot. Next up, we have our clone trooper captain. See there he comes with the long rifle. I'm just going to take that off and show you. So this is where you have the rifle and it's just simply got this attachment on the end of it. So apart from that it's a standard rifle. has that piece which simply slots onto the end like so. Back to the clone trooper captain himself. Okay, you see there the printing on the torso, coloured arms, the rear torso printing, you can see there the rank which signifies he is the captain. Pretty cool printing on the helmet, in the red. Standard face, and again single sided. So that is our clone trooper captain. Okay, the final minifigs, which there are two of them, are our super battle droids. So there we go, there's a super battle droid, silver. I think most people would have seen these, been in a few other sets. Not a great deal to say about these guys. See the arms move, body moves. And zoom in there, you can see the head, see the torso, you can see the detail there. Yeah, like I said, there are two um, of these in this set. So that's it for the minifigures, now we'll have a look at the main set itself. Okay, into the main set itself, and this is a large gunship. Um, I think there's been two or three um, previous to this one, and every one of them in my opinion is very cool. It's a very, very cool um, ship, um, being the Republic gunship. So there are a number of features on this, um, which I'm going to try to take you through now, um, but just bearing in mind the size of this, kind of see it there, let's give you a kind of review, a view of it, so if we start from the front itself, as you can see up here, these ball cannons, you can see they move on their balls like that, and again that one there. You have this front piece here which can move up and down as well. Okay, and if we carry on along the top we have two cockpit areas. So they come up like so. There's that one. And the one behind there. And inside hopefully you can see there's a control panel in there. Zoom in and see that. There's a sticker and again I can see on that one a sticker as well. As you can see in there where you can sit your minifigures. Okay, trying to work our way back here at the sides we have doors which open up like so. One on each side. You can see there, and actually inside here, we have. Let's put that down for a second. Some flick fire missiles. Okay, which we can see there. It's kind of a storage area, really. For the flick fire missiles, you could flick them out of this top one here. Um, on here, you can see they just clip in. So we've got two blue and 
to green. So they just slide in. You see inside there, there's some pieces where that will just simply slide in there and then again the door can come down there and again on that side. I mean, this is quite a heavy set as well. Um, so we have obviously inside here as well where you can put some minifigures if you want to. Now in here we have some ball turrets or cannons. So these move as we can see, kind of always really, up, down, in and out. This comes out, or opens rather, like so. And then we can sit a minifigure in there on that platform. And we have two levers here which would represent actually firing the cannon in there. Okay, and then we have exactly the same on the other side, absolutely identical. Okay, we have, as you can see here, some compartments where you can store something, so you can fit in there, certainly pistols, and you could put some other pieces in there, and again, same on that side. Now, all these pieces that you see here are all stickers. That's a sticker as well. Sticker down there. Okay, so I'm moving back again, and obviously in here when these are out, there is quite a bit of room um, where you can put some of your minifigures there as well. Okay, so if we move back again a bit further, we're staying kind of on the main area. Here we have these doors which will there we go, push forward like so. And not close totally, but you can see how that mechanism works. It's actually a number of technic pieces so you can see there that just moves forward like so. And again, the same oh, on the other side is there. You can either move it like that or can use it or use the lever um, itself. I tend to leave that back like so. So again, sticking to the bottom, at the very rear here we have another cannon, again, which can move around various positions like so. Another cool feature here is this piece which is a door. So if we open that door up, it's coming closer, you can see in there there is a um, a bike, like a speeder, and that again just slots out. Which we can see there, so I'll just put that down a second. <coughs> You can see the little bike there again. It's a minifigure on it. It's got a backpack on the back of it. Like so. So we can again put a minifigure on that. And that just simply slides on these pieces here. These little lugs here will fit on to there. And it just simply slides in. And we can close that. Okay, so onto the wing. Um, again, we can see here there's another gun turret. Again, that will open up like so. Um, we can see there there's another, it's a control panel, but it's another sticker. So, a sticker there, and in here is where we can sit our minifigure. And obviously, that closes down on top of him. And again, exactly the same. On the other side, lift up, minifigure, control panel, like so. At the top here, we have, again, more detail. Engines, exhausts, these spin. No real purpose to them, but I guess it's just, I don't know, it's pretty cool. They do spin. Really does look cool. I'll show you the rear at the top up there. 
I guess one of the final features, not the final one, but one of them, is up here. These, as you can see there, these are all flick fire missiles. So these do flick out. So, for example, bear with me. Hopefully you will see. So, as you can see there, we certainly heard um, they can be flicked out. Again, they move pretty cool. Another pretty cool feature. I think one of the final features, and it really is needed for this set, is right in here, which is a carry handle, which you can quite simply hold the ship like so. And what that allows us to do is you can really hold on to this and fly the ship around. So again, really good playability. You can see there's a lot of features on this. Um, particular gunship so really really good set really really rate this I think it looks absolutely fantastic um, brilliant for display purposes so for I guess the older kids in us and us um, AFOLs looks really good on display and for the younger kids as well but certainly for the younger kids great playability because there's a lot of features on here quite a few places to actually put our minifigs uh, we've got numerous like turrets, cockpits, guns, flick missiles, spare flick, flick, flick fire missiles. You've got kind of the speeder bike in the back. And of course we have our minifigs which are our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I think that's pretty much it for the review of this set guys. Um, like I said it is a really 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 cool set. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one final thing. Uh, I'm going to put the minifigures on it and I'm going to put it next to the um, Republic tank I've got as well, just so you can see a comparison next to the actual Republic tank, which again is another one of my favourite sets, which I must admit I have lots of favourite sets, but anyway. Um, so I will show you what that looks like now. Okay, guys, there we go. So now you can see the Republic gunship next to the um, Republic tank. Um, I think they do look awesome. Um, together, um, these two sets, I think they're two fantastic sets. If you want to see a review on this one, um, check back in my video history, um, there is um, already a review there. Um, so, yeah, I encourage you to go and take a look at that one. Again, this is an awesome set, it's discontinued now, um, but yeah, really, really, really cool set. Um, like I said, you can see them both there um, sitting together. So, I'm just going to push that one out of the way. Said, I'm just going to put these figs in it so you can see here now. Okay, you can see in there the clone pilot, and then sat behind him um, in the rear there is the clone trooper captain. Okay, and just for the purposes of this, what I've done here, you can see Obi Wan Kenobi in there. Okay, and in one of the gun turrets at the side here, we have Anakin Skywalker in this one. Hopefully you can see him in there. And here we have Padme um, at the side. So, that's it for this review guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, please do give me some comments. I really appreciate all your comments that I'm getting. Really, really, really encouraging. And it's encouraging me to do much, much more of these reviews. So keep those coming in. Please do give the videos a thumbs up because that really does, again, help me and encourages me. Please go ahead and share this um, video. And if you haven't done so already, I would really appreciate um, you hitting that subscribe button and continuing to support me. So that's it to the next video, guys. Thanks very much. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.